guys, welcome back to a new video. Um, today I'm here with Rose, and we are gonna film uh, a girls' talk video. We posted both on our Instagrams a little while ago. You guys could ask us questions, so we picked a couple. And yeah, yeah, we're gonna talk um, about life, girls' things, and everything else. Um, tell the most embarrassing story that you went. Uh, during a photo shoot. And this is by Ed Marayawin. The most embarrassing. Um, during the photo shoot. Oh, I still remember this. We were on like, in a gymnastics thing and we were uh, <laughs> on a You're trampoline. You're good at gymnastics. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 that was not the issue. We, we had a trampoline and <laughs> I had to pee so, so bad. And we, I had to jump on there and they were like, okay, one more shot, one more shot. No, continue, continue. And I was just like, oh my God, I need to go to the bathroom so bad. And then someone made a joke. I was like laughing and jumping on a trampoline and I literally <laughs> in my pants. Stop. It was so bad. Did they notice it afterwards? Uh -huh. Did you like see it? Well, I was good friends with the stylist so we were just like <laughs> laughing about it but I, I don't know, it was just so, so, so funny but I think that was pretty, yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. And that is pretty I think it cannot get any worse than yeah. that. Um, okay, this one is from Holly. If you weren't a model, what would your job be? So I got scouted when I was in high school and I actually already signed up to go to university. I was going to go to University of Amsterdam, that's in Holland, where we're both from. Um, and I was going to study economics to become an accountant. <laughs> I get to <laughs> not see you in like my kind of office. Me either, so now obviously I don't, <laughs> but yeah, back I then I wanted to. Full of surprise, right? <laughs> I think I wanted, I wanted to work in a zoo because I oh. loved animals and stuff. And after I wanted to do something with like philosophy or social sciences, I don't, I didn't really know. That's like, cool. This question is by Nauna's Paradigm. Ever use any dating apps like Raya, and what do you think of them? <laughs> okay, um, I I have used dating apps, but not like not for that real. Much. Not it's like for fun. No, it was more a bit for fun with girlfriends. Yeah. We downloaded Raya, and we were just like swiping a little bit and. Then we made a deal like, okay, everyone has to go on one date at least. So I went on one blind date and I don't know, it was just not really for me. It's yeah. just so forced like to meet someone. But yeah. I have to I, say, I know a lot, actually like two of my good friends, they've both been like happy relationships for like a couple of years, met each other on Raya. So it exactly. is possible. You know? I totally think, I think it's a great way to connect with people or to meet other people. Uh, maybe if you're even not looking for like a relationship or anything. I know, I think you can also do like the, just like a friends. Yeah, you can also do only for friends. Just like we moved to a new city. Yeah, and I tried it, didn't work out, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could work for someone else. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> who knows. What is your favorite book? My favorite book is probably um, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra. It's like a really, it's like a small, thin book. Um, it's my favorite because I just think it really like reminds you of what's important in life. And it's also something that, um, it's definitely a book that I can like read over and over and over again to just like keep myself aligned on the right path. So yeah, that's definitely my favorite book. Okay, I have to read it now. Yeah, <laughs> I need should. to take your recommendation. Gonna, I'm gonna order it after yeah. that. <laughs> Um, what is the meanest thing someone in the modeling industry has said to you? This is from Ed Naya. Um, I think this was in Paris, so I didn't speak French that well, so if they would ask the, if I spoke French I would say no, otherwise I couldn't follow it, so this stylist walks up to me and she's like, oh, do you understand French? And I was like, no, I don't, but I did a little bit. She turned around and she snapped to like her assistant, like, good, we can talk about her because <laughs> she can't understand us. And I thought it was so, so mean. So um, mean. It, it, she didn't talk. Did you oh, say I anything? Didn't, no, I didn't say anything. I was just like, okay, I will keep quiet. Let's see. But yeah, yeah. I think that was really mean. But, yeah. This one is from Rebecca Lauren. Mm -hmm. I suffer with really bad bloating after food. Did the celery juice work for you? So I started drinking celery juice on January 1st um, and the first 10 days I would say 
I felt like it actually would make me more bloated um, and like heart, be like really hard to digest for my body. But every morning now, I drink it. It's also very easy because obviously like I don't have a juicer at home, so I don't make it at home. But juice press, bless juice press. Um, I started making in like cold press in bottles, so I just stock up, put it in my fridge, and when I wake up in the morning, I drink it. But um, yeah, I think it works really well for me. Like after eating a big meal, I don't feel sluggish anymore. I don't really get bloated anymore. Um, and then some people have been saying stuff about my skin. I don't really see a big difference in it. But um, yeah, I don't know. It just like energizes you too. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's literally the celery juice is sold out everywhere. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's Even the actual celery like and the celery stuff, juice. Yeah. yeah. Is it hard to do with your period while modeling, BS especially, from Johnson 3595? I think this is one of the most asked questions about like really? period and like especially during BS and we work and the thing is like, yeah, of course, like we get a period as well and yeah, we have to For deal you with it. For human beings too, guys. <laughs> yeah, we have to deal with it like at work and of course sometimes you feel very bloated but I think that's more like your own feeling, like, oh my god, I look bloated, than that you actually are. Nobody really sees it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, you kind of get used to it, like working with it. And yeah, of course, you, you yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it sucks, but at the end of the day, everyone's always very, like, compassionate and yeah, like, like, everyone understands because everyone goes through the same thing. So, everyone knows, like, you're not feeling your best. But and it's nothing it's to be like ashamed of exactly. or whatever. Exactly, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. so easy on the work floor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one is from Michael. Your turn. <laughs> what is your favorite crystal? My favorite crystal, ooh. I love um, rose quartz, probably. I sleep with it next to my bed. It's very like healing and soothing for your heart chakra. Um, it's also just like a really pretty color because it's rose pink, so yeah. It's my favorite. <laughs> so if anyone wants to gift rose, <laughs> what do you appreciate the most about yourself? From at Moravakova, Julie. Um, I think what I appreciate the most about myself is that I can appreciate very small things um, in life and or during the day like I don't know even if someone just makes like a sweet comments or like, like a compliment or if I'm just like in nature and I'm, I'm like seeing a sunset or I'm gonna go for like a nice hike I can really appreciate those things or if I have like really amazing food which someone someone like cooked uh, yeah so I think that's the best thing I appreciate so nice. <laughs> then I have one from Esme van der Vries who is a Dutchie, and if you guys didn't know, we're both Dutch. So, <laughs> what is you guys' favorite stompot? So, to explain for people who don't know, stompot is basically mashed potato, boiled potatoes mashed with butter, and then we mix in some like vegetables and some meat. Um, so, my favorite stompot is probably bulgogi, which is basically like the mashed potatoes and then we mix in kale and then you put like a massive sausage on top or like you put like bacon <laughs> through it like bacon like pieces yeah that's i think so i'm good. a really like a stem pot fan to be honest oh uh, it's so good but that one is the favorite one you also have a carrot and yeah um, what else is there you have like with like sauerkraut and, 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 i hate yeah, that oh, one it's Ugh. really bad yeah i remember i had to eat it as a kid i, know, me too. I hated it no but this is a funny yeah. But you know, it's a very like a wintry dish, so. Yeah, very cozy. Um, do you have tips to be happy and confident without a boyfriend? When do you have your boy's first boyfriend from Julie? Feeling confident comes from yourself and you need to be happy with yourself. And uh, yeah, by that, a boyfriend is just a nice, <laughs> A nice gift, addition. Addition. <laughs> addition and to yourself. Yeah, if you appreciate yourself a lot and if you feel good in your own skin, I feel that is much more important. And I feel that a lot of girls are also stressing about about like having a boyfriend. And to be honest, I had my first boyfriend like 
a serious relationship when I was like 22, so that's quite late. And it was not that I didn't meet anyone, but I just never, uh, yeah, I was like, I'd rather be single and happy with myself instead of being with someone I don't love. So yeah, I feel having a boyfriend is not that of an important no. uh, deal. Plus, plus if it's just like you want to, you know, have someone to do like fun things with or you just want to like spend time with someone like you pretty much can just also just do those things with your girlfriend. Girlfriend! Like go <laughs> up on the couch, watch a movie, do yeah. fun stuff, like go to dinner together, you know, it's like so you important. don't need a guy to do those things. Yeah, so you can buy yourself some presents. Thank you. Well, you're a little. I have another question. How do you really find inner peace? Mm, I feel like ever since I started meditating in the morning, like first thing when I wake up, I use an app on my phone. There's like tons of different apps. I'm sure that there's like... Which one are you using? I use the Inkscape one. So Inkscape is actually this meditation place um, here in the city that they have like this beautiful dome and they play meditations and like sound baths and you can just come there and do kind of like a class, like a meditation class. So you just sit in this like massive thing, like just meditating with a bunch of people, which is very lovely. Um, but I think that just really changes the way that you start your morning off and it really changes like the energy you and the attention you have for the day to be. Same with another thing that I really like is um, like start the morning off by like writing things that you're grateful for. Like it can be something as simple as like the sun shining or you know just things as like having like clean drinking water or having a roof above our head or just like getting a hug from someone. Um, those things just like really change your whole mindset in my opinion. So I think that those things like kind of help to be like feel like positive and confident and get like inner peace. Yeah, I also feel if you do that in the morning like you really start like yeah. the day very clear or yeah. even if you do that at the end of the day. Um, yeah, I, I used to do this little thing when I wrote down every day what was the best thing that happened today or what was the most fun and then what was the worst thing what was going on today and if you do that like every day you, you kind of yeah yeah you, you get you better realize, of just like yeah. putting it down there yeah i agree yeah have you ever struggled with an eating disorder and this is from sophie um no i've never struggled with an eating disorder um i've always been like very uh very skinny and also i've been always very healthy and like aware of what I think but I do have to say that um, I felt like a bit unhealthy like a couple years ago when I started traveling like modeling and I was literally every day from set to play from set like a hotel and I just didn't really take care of myself um, yeah and I just didn't feel energized anymore I got really I got even more skinnier and I just didn't feel good but that was not of a conscious like yeah. choice, it was more about the whole situation and that I yeah, didn't take care of myself. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I think it's really hard when you first start modeling because um, most girls are so young and they're used to like living at home and instead of like living with your parents, all of a sudden you're like traveling the world by yourself and you just don't really have that sense of like my what mom doesn't do. cook anymore. Yeah, exactly. My mom doesn't do my laundry yeah. anymore. My mom doesn't cook for me anymore. Mm -hmm. And also, like, it takes a lot of planning, especially when you travel yeah. a lot, because it's like, you know, like, you have to take snacks with you, like, on the plane, make your food, like, f you know, find healthy places to go, like, find a place that you can work out, like, find, like, still, like, kind of, like, a routine through the craziness. Um, yeah, so, yeah. It's hard. It's hard, but yeah. we got after a couple years. You're like, okay, we're now we're grown. Yeah, that is true. Well, um, I think that was that it. Was that yeah. was it. So, um, yeah, this was the end of our girls' talk. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to follow Ruth on Instagram. And yeah, leave us a comment below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And see you next time. Bye. <laughs>
Doei doei. Doei doei.